so let me put in perspective the performance that we're seeing. This is Drive PX2 compared to a Titan. Titan X is built 28 nanometers. It's used an architecture called Maxwell. It has seven teraflops of floating point performance, has seven deep learning tops, trillion operations per second, because it doesn't have the deep learning new instructions necessary. And it runs AlexNet, which is this famous AlexNet that beat, uh, that won ImageNet in 2012 by Alex Kurshevsky. 450 images per second. Drive PX2, because it has to support so many cameras, it has to do it in real time, it has to be able to do localization, bunch of path planning computation, so much computation needs to be done on this one processor. We felt that we needed to give it a lot more performance. The equivalent of essentially six Titan Xs. We're gonna put six Titan Xs in Drive PX2. It's made from 16 nanometer FinFET, has 12 CPU cores. Eight of them are ARM64 A57. Four of them based on NVIDIA custom Denver processor for very high single threaded performance. The GPU is based on our next generation Pascal. Eight teraflops of floating point performance, 24 deep learning tops. And as a result, we can perform 2,800 images per second. We can now infer a lot of conditions around ourselves from just about any camera sensors you can imagine and um, uh, throw a lot of deep learning capability at this thing. It all together is equivalent to about 150 MacBook Pros in your trunk. 150 MacBook Pros is about $300,000 worth of computers. We can now shrink all of that into the size of essentially a lunchbox that fits nicely in your car. So this is what it looks like. This is the Drive PX2. Thanks, Rob. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Chonger. <laughs> this, <laughs> thank you. This is, the, this is the Drive PX2. On the front, two next generation Tegra processors based on the Pascal architecture. On the back, two next generation NVIDIA GPUs based on the Pascal architecture. All together, four processors, eight teraflops of performance, six times the deep learning throughput of Titan X. Okay? So, one more time. Two next generation Tegra processors on top, two next generation Pascal GPUs on the bottom. It is liquid cooled so that we could keep this computer running comfortably, even in a car with 80 degrees C, 175 degrees Fahrenheit conditions, which are extreme by any standard. We can dissipate 250 watts in 256 cubic inches. 256 cubic inches, eight by eight by four. Okay, so approximately the size of a lunchbox. It looks kind of like this. Now, if a car has liquid cooling, which most electric vehicles have. Most of these self-driving cars have. You could just plumb Drive PX2 directly into it. If it does not, and you would like to deploy Drive PX2 quickly into your car, let's say next week, we have an optional heat transfer unit that is basically a fan that takes the heat away from the metal plates, the metal cooling plates, plates and the heat pipes, and you could deploy this into your car. All you need is ethernet, power cables, CAN bus, and you have a self-driving supercomputer that fits nicely in your trunk. Instead of what you see in today's self-driving vehicles, prototypes filled with basically computers in the back, it's now one nice little lunchbox, and it is a supercomputer. I'm super proud to announce and pleased to announce that the first car company that's going to deploy Drive PX2 is going to be a company, Volvo, who is, has a heritage of extreme passion around safety. They're gonna deploy several hundred cars with Drive PX to start developing their self-driving capabilities. Volvo will be our first partner. There will be many others to follow, I hope. And the last, to summarize, Drive, the NVIDIA Drive PX strategy is really not a chip strategy. It's not a processor strategy. It's an end-to-end -end platform strategy. 
It's really about, number one, helping you create the network that you can own, that you can continue to refine, because it is the driving experience of the car, creating the drive network. You can start with yours, you can start with ours, the NVIDIA DriveNet as a starting reference point. The second part of today's announcement is the MV DriveNet. The third is the Drive PX2, a supercomputer designed for artificial intelligence that we would like to use to realize the vision of self-driving cars. That end-to-end -end platform, that end-to-end -end loop, is what the NVIDIA Drive PX is all about. I want to thank all of you guys for coming today. Congratulations for um, uh, welcome. I welcome you to CES, and uh, Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you.